Please stand by. Right, we're here with another Red Alert video. This is one of the Mega Maps, the Mega X Maps uh, 3 vs 3. It's a random one, this. Um, I was coming with all the intentions of tonight playing a, a regular map, but I've seen someone on one of the Mega Maps going, and I just had a little pop up my head in just to see who was playing, and I noticed Super Weapons were on, and I couldn't pass up a chance to play Super Weapons with the Allies for the Chrono. So that's just me letting Professor know that I'm ex jinx so he doesn't think I'm some noob. And that, because uh, what I want to do is, when I get my chrono going, I want to chrono one of his MCVs in, because he's got Tesla, and he's very good uh, with Tanya when he gets in the bases, Professor. He's better than me at doing that. He really, really is very, very quick at taking buildings out with Tanya. I've seen him do it before. So for me, it's better for me to just get the chrono up and running than chrono him in and let him do the work. Uh, especially with him being Soviet, because then he can switch to Tesla and do and do a hell of a lot more damage than I can with turrets or pillboxes. Usual build order up to now there, that's me just telling Professor there, look, to build an extra MCV for the chrono. Usual build order. Getting the men out. I think the cock up here, I'm out of funds a little bit here. I should have built a couple more ore refineries than I do, but not to worry. And, and I think I forget to direct my second uh, harvester as well. And I think that's why I run out of money. There's me getting my tanks going and just getting some extra MCVs ready. The usual tactic now to spread out outside yeah. uh, the opposition i know pink and red are half decent players they can play them how to build decent bases and get the units going um, i've seen the whole nine is it the guy who's yellow i've seen him play before i think he's sort of an average player so all of, all three opposition do know what they're doing I don't know who this Cyan guy is, I, I don't think I've ever played with him before, not that I can remember, but he seems to know what he's doing on our side as well. He seems to know what he's doing like, so that's not so bad. And I know Professor's a top, top player, so... In all fairness, it might have been better if Professor was on the other side, it would have been a bit balanced a bit better, I think. But it's a random one and it, it's out of my control, so there's, there's nothing we can do about it. You get who you get on the random ones. That's why really they're not very good. The random ones you should be, you should pick your teams really. But it's all fun, so I'm just starting to build out now. Important to get out early, establish a base outside, get set up. You know the pattern by now. Build out with barracks. Go back. A few MTV ready. I think I run out of funds again here a little bit. You know, that's a bit, 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 uh, bit of a mistake on my part here. Run out of money, but like I say, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. You just, you just build some more ore refineries. The money soon starts coming in on these mega maps. Once you build a few more ore refineries, it doesn't take long to start getting the funds back in. Make sure I'm topped up on power, because I know I'm going to be building me, um, me GPS soon, me tech centre. I want to get that going. I, sh I should have got it going a little bit earlier than I did, to be honest. I was just sort of on autopilot getting the war factories and the MCVs out. And I suddenly thought, oh shit, I'm allies, I need to get the tech centre and the chronosphere on the go. But not to worry, they're charging now. It won't take too long. You can see pink's built out in the opposition. Looks like yellow has as well, and no doubt red probably has. We, we haven't done the best scouting on this game, to be fair. We should have opened the map up a little bit more than we have. But with, us, with me being allies and the super weapons on, it won't be long, we'll have full map vision anyway. We can start torturing them with heli and stuff like that. That's the good thing about the Allies. Is once you get that map vision, if you build a heli, you can just start taking their MCVs out, targeting their all things like that. Put a few gap generators down just to block their vision. 
A couple of turrets down there. Turrets are pretty useless, like, but it's better than nothing. Just expanding the base out now. Just tr basically trying to cut off that area so they can't build up and come round the back of me. That's what she said. So, it's me just building back towards me. Main base now. Just trying to build that line across to, to cut their path off. Make sure I've got plenty of power. Me just topping me heli up now. A few more heli pads. I think I'll probably, no doubt knowing me, I'll be going up to 10 again. Just to get the speed back up. It's time to go on the attack. My teammates have been attacking for a couple of minutes now. There's Pink trying to get an MC out. So I was on about it's important to block that. See, he's just at a wall of tanks and buildings. He's probably thinking, what the hell's going on here? Now it's time to attack. Take out his vital stuff like the Teslas. While me uh, heli build up. Won't be long now for Cron. Um, we see they're saying Neely. Just checked. Cron was Neely done. GPS isn't far behind. And uh, I do a little replay as well. When I Cron or Professor over. What I do is I've downloaded the replay. Um, and I'll show you the replay of like the destruction he does in their base and you can like see first hand what he does and then I'll go back to the in-game view just so you can get a better idea of what happened when he got in there's me saying Chrono already GPS soon and we're just building towards their base now just continually building more war factories Base crawling towards with a bit more power, just to make sure I don't run out of power. There you go, GPS is up. So, that's, uh, Professor's letting me know there with the beacon. Where, what, where his MCV is, and he's letting me know where he wants to go. We'll crawl him over, then we'll go to the, uh, replay. And we'll just watch it, I'll zoom in a little bit for you, because it's, it's zoomed out quite a lot here, so I'll zoom in a bit. Just so you can see Professor go to work. Goes a bit glitchy. I think there's that much going on in the replay. It does go a little bit glitchy. There, you can see it just slowing down and speeding back up. Sort of pauses for a couple of seconds. You can see the type of damage that the Tanya do. A red should have been building Tesla and dogs. Dogs are brilliant for defending against Tanya, but he obviously doesn't know. So that's him screwed now. The professor's done loads of damage in there. You can see him, his base crawling up now. Starting to get some Tesla going. It really does do a lot of damage. And they, they can't recover from this. I'm going in with Heli as well. Taking out Pink's MCVs. His construction yards. That's re drastically reducing his build speed. Just trying to help Professor out so that he can build, keep building Tesla. Well, he, he did. I think he just say in game he was he was suffering from lag. What kind of the damage he's done anyway once he got in. I think the lag stopped him building. So they do eventually get him out because of the lag. But the damage is done. Yeah, we'll go back to the in-game view now. That was me just chronoing him across. I'll just show you like my view, what I was doing in the time that Professor was destroying them from the inside. I'm working on the outside. Obviously Cyan is as well. Let's not forget Cyan. I'm trying to double click the tanks there so that I'm only selecting the tanks. It wouldn't bloody do it. Because I don't want I didn't want to click select all uh, select current units on screen because I didn't want to select the chopper. I, I didn't want to, I wanted them to go into his base, see. There's me just that that was me uh, selecting the chopper to go and take out Pink's MCVs that you've seen on the replay. Just continuing to constantly build. Make sure we've got full control outside. And they must be thinking now, Jesus, we're screwed here. Purple's inside our base, Tanya in us up. And these other two are just ha hammering us. 
And just continue in to take out pink, take out yellow's buildings, continue in to build at the same time. So important in these games to not just focus on one area. You've got to use multiple groups of tanks and heli and just attack all at the same time. Different uh, buildings, you know. You've really got to pick different targets constantly. You can't just select all your units onto one building. It's just not a very good tactic to do that. And you soon get used to it. I think now I just decide, well, I might as well just start sending. The base is just wide open. I just start sending units and I'm wanting these tanks now to move out the way but the bloody things won't move they you can see them turn there look so laggy but I think the, the job is done now I'm like oh yes he's done the job so I'm trying to move these tanks out the way now so I can build in they were just stuck there forever that's the thing about these mega maps they get stuck on that little corner and the units will just stay there and you can't build in Pink's still trying to put up a, you know, half decent fight. He's built mammoths, they're useless on these map mammoths. He it just it's pointless even building mammoths. They're just they're just too slow and they don't do enough damage for the time it takes to build them and the, the how slow they are, they're just a complete waste of time. In my opinion. You're best off with just uh, medium tanks. Oh well, obviously you can, I can't build mammoths because I'm the allies. But even when I'm Soviet, I'll only build heavy tanks, I'll never build mammoths. I think they're a waste of time, and if you watch the very, very top players, such as the likes of Armin, you'll see he'll never build mammoth tanks, he'll only ever build heavy tanks. Because heavy tanks are faster, and when you Q, mu Q moving and Q attack at the same time, the heavy tanks do far more damage than the mammoth tanks. So that's, that's why I don't build them anyway. And that's it, game over. The, boy, the job's done, boys. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed that one. I know it was another mega one. It wasn't a normal map, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. And we'll see you on the next one.